happy Saturday. I woke up yesterday in Asheville and I opened my door and it was freaking snowing out. So I'm like, I gotta get out of there. Just came down to just outside of Charleston, South Carolina, as if anyone didn't know that. And I looked last night, they're supposed to, I went on free campsites. Dot net, and there's supposed to be a campsite over there. I couldn't find it. So I pulled in this spot right here. Just like a little pull off. <clears throat> it's a little creepy out here. I got no no cell phone service. So I was gonna do a little bit of work. I figured I'd make a video. People would ask for a van tour. Found some um, some bones. I don't know where these came from. I hope I should take one or not, or just leave it here. Some sort of animal. But, yep. <laughs> There's no sunlight. <clears throat> no sunlight out here today. Very little. But I'm gonna. People ask. I'm just gonna do a van tour. Get that out of the way. <laughs> I wanted to do it like in the, uh, like from a beautiful beach down in Florida or whatever. But we're here. It's pretty nice out. It's not snowing. So, here we go. Alright, so the van, it's a 2000 Dodge Ram 3500, the 5.9, 360, whatever you want to call it, motor. It's not a motor, it's an engine. Motors are electric. It has 46 RE, pain in the butt transmission. <laughs> which has all been rebuilt and it's got a Dana 60 limited slip with four tens in it which basically when I average it out from my highway mileage I'm like 10 11 miles to the gallon what are you gonna do but she's running okay right now I just painted it it's pretty pretty nice. this is a busy road out here it was quiet last night it had all the um, those 90s, early 2000s graphics all over it, and it was like a two-tone paint job. So I sanded it all down. I used a mix of 50/50 Rust-Oleum, oil-based enamel, and mineral spirits, and sprayed down the whole thing. Oh, what? Actually, there's some stuff I could show you on the outside. Kind of walk around. Got a Wi-Fi antenna up there. You can see it. It's a city, like if you're in the city or somewhere with this open Wi-Fi or hotspot. You can run your fire stick, your laptop, whatever off there. This might be a hard shot. Up top here. Climb up. <clears throat> Got one, two, three. Back there is fourth. Uh, hundred watt Renergy monocrystalline panels. Roof vent. Antennas we have in the front there. It's uh, for the um, hell it cell phone booster CB antenna. It's a little well goes up pretty high. And the TV antenna right there. It's, it's called an August or whatever. It gets it actually for how small it is, it does pretty well. Everything's going through the um, aside from the CB antenna. That gland up there. That's that. On the back here, so you got 400 watts up on the roof. The sun was out earlier, but I got 200 watt. They're, they're Dokio panels. They're not the greatest. Like this one. All right, she's going crazy over there. I think you see that one's all nice and red, and this one's just faded. It's cracked. It's delaminated. These things aren't the best. They fold up real nice going to the bed. I got those four panels go into a Renogy, the hell is it? Renogy Rover 30 amp MPPT controller. These ones right here, I set up a secondary, just a PWM controller in the back. But I don't use these that often. The mountain bike, I think it's a 2017 Mongoose Tia Cali Pro. 
People think it's a Walmart bike. It's not. It's actually one of the most expensive bikes that Pacific Bicycles makes. It's all fairly high end. It's got Shimano SLX. XT rear derailleur, SLX front derailleur, 27.5 inch wheels, and 160 millimeters of travel. It's more than I need. Champion 2100 watt, I don't know, it's a 2000 watt generator, uh, inverter generator. It's nice to have days like today. There, there ain't no fucking sun here. So <clears throat> that'll run. I have a 15 amp battery charger in the back, juice up the batteries. And it'll run that's a 6000 BTU um, it's home air conditioner got two two reverse cameras right here it works somewhat for security too ain't much else going on out here so we go inside I'm about to move let's see if I can find that other campsite before it gets too dark all right inside this was a conversion van. I unconverted it and reconverted it. Have your bottle opener. Redid all these door panels. Cut them out, upholstered them. Every window in here. I want the ability to be able to take these out so you can see. This applies to pretty much all the windows. Half inch. It's closed cell open cell insulation. I just glued the speaker fabric to the back. Headliner material. I had this left over from my Volkswagen. And then there's Reflectix sandwiched in between. So these windows, it's, they don't insulate. And it's hot as hell in the summer. Cab area, front civil suite, suite front swivel seat. I don't, I don't think I've spun this thing back around since I've had it. Fire extinguisher. Look out for the freaking. <laughs> I'll just say Greek lightning. Some stickers. A couple of people I met. My name tag from that van meetup. Pretty basic over here. A lot of people use the doors for storage and stuff. I don't want this thing looking like <laughs> people put like shoe racks for like personal care items. I think it looks like trash. All right, cab area. <sighs> Nothing super fancy. <laughs> point, point this where you want to go and go. I got the um, steering wheel controls for the radio. They work like shit. Security wise, I've got the club. Like I said, it's a good visual deterrent. I also have a kill switch in here, so it can't be started. All right, radio navigation unit, 10.1 inch Android. I got it hooked up to Torque Pro, kind of like an EKG for your car. So you can monitor real time information, coolant temperature, or pretty much whatever volts. This thing's gonna die. I think the battery's real low. Rear view mirror is a dash cam. And you can flip that on at night. See who's, see who's lurking outside. Really like that. Crown air freshener. I don't know why. It just like reminds me of the 90s. Cell phone holder. It's like a wireless charger. Some lady from China said, we like your YouTube channel. We want to send you some stuff. I said, okay. Up here. I bought a bunch of these little lights. They're USB like night lights. Quick charge 3.0 and a 2.4 outlet. I got a few of those throughout the van. Can never have enough of those. Get back in there. 12 volt outlet. A level, which I never use. I'm always on level, I don't care. Atomic clock, I've had that forever. I can't figure out how to program it. This dog's like wrapping herself around me. Tons of cup holders, dirty ashtray. Down here, catch all for pretty much everything. This stuff's awesome. JDM Black Squash Air Freshener. Um, collection of receipts for gas. Another inverter. Gosh, that dog wants to play with her squirrel right now. Cobra uh, 29LX CB. It's a lot of fun. And 
Baofeng UV5R ham radio. Just because that's fun too. You can get like weather reports on both of those and talk to people if you have a license. Dog dishes, dog bed, dog toys. Moving back here. I ain't gonna be able to see it, but I got my gym bag, shower bag right there. Behind that is. <laughs> she decides to go nuts. She's gotta go bonkers the second I decide to do this. You have at it. There's a 20 pound propane tank under there. Up in the front, this is where the, um, where your TV was and everything, or where the TV was when it was a conversion. Uh, TV was right there, and it had like two little, um, like a place for your VCR, and then put your like <laughs> videotapes and stuff. So that all came out. Little temperature gauge right there, inside, outside. Little main switch panel, so when you walk in it's easy. You got front lights, middle lights, back lights, fan, water pump. 12 volt outlet, that runs to cell phone booster. That's up here behind. Little voltage gauge, that reads a little differently because it's usually like 0 0.1 degrees lower, whatever. All right, so that's the control panel. Up here you get storage. Let's keep my laptop. So odds and ends. Tripod, cigarette stuff, whatever. I'm gonna put a lock on that eventually. Probably sooner than later. Up top. Recess lights. There's six total. And they're all independently controlled. Kitchen area, sink area I should say. A remote. I took this like little office organizer, just taped it down. Holds all the remotes. Kind of <laughs> small. <laughs> Got another quick charge outlet. Little knockoff Go GoPro. Nice flashlight. That's a Wi Fi extender. Sinks pretty deep. I'm trying not to keep any dishes or anything in there. I built this little cover. It's a nice like nightstand and everything. Gives you a little bit more room to. For active, so much room for activities, and I built a little leaf table right here. And a good place to do work, eat. Rest of the kitchen. There's a Corona trash can. Skull I got in Cosmel. Teapot. Incense burn, incense burner, incense burner. <laughs> I got that from a that little plant from a Chinese restaurant. With my friend, the Rock Rich Life, and I found JBL speaker decorations. Try to keep it festive in here. Little 19 inch, um, it's a 12 volt TV. I think I use it like 35 watts, something like that. With some lights in the back and. Some entertainment, the PS Classic. With that, that little stick's got like, I don't know, like 7,000 games on it. This thing takes, it's 5 volts and 1 amp. We play it like pretty much indefinitely. Two burner stove, the anti kettle. I wrapped it with um, paracord so I don't burn myself. Got two, a couple, um, I got two cast iron skillets over here. I think what I'm going to do with this, I had a built-in 110 fridge there, but I took it out because I think it was using too much electricity. This, um, move her toy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this fridge I'm conflicted on. It, there's something wrong with it. It doesn't work like it's supposed to, but ask for a, um, for a shipping label to return it. They never send it to me, so this is pretty much free. Freezer section refrigerator section. You take out the divider and make it all one fridge or one freezer. I think it's a 60 liter quart, whatever. It's big. Underneath, I'll probably end up building cabinets right now, just low-tech curtains. I'm not a carpenter. 
personal stuff. It's not fridge, not fridge, it's just storage. Yeah. Dog treats, butter, drink mixes, Taco Bell packets, spices, you name it. It's in there. I don't keep very many, um, I, just, I got two of these metal camping prison trays. This little Stanley stainless steel pot. I love this thing. Fancy wine glass. From the Dollar Tree. And lighters. And just kitchen stuff. You don't need much. Over here, got groceries up there, plastic bags, coffee, instant coffee, more coffee, kratom, green vein, white vein, green vein, red vein, another little cook set. I used to use this for like backpacking and stuff. It's a real basic little pot. Um, can actually use that with my coffee press. But I don't tend to drink much coffee. I used to drink a lot of coffee. Oh god, it's a mess. Pull this back away. I think things would be much better when I actually build something for that. This camp work's gonna be terrible. Down there, just more one pound bottle, another skillet, French press. That's that. All right, where are we going now? There ain't too much more to show you. I love this little PlayStation. All right, up here, we've got the Fantastic. No, it's not a Fantastic fan, it is a Max Air fan. It's the 4100. It's probably the lowest model you can get. But I found it on um, Facebook Marketplace. I found a lot of this on Facebook Marketplace. That cost me like, I think, like, I, think I paid a girl like 30, 40 bucks for it. Flooring. <laughs> I got this. It was all like Pergo. And that was really cheap too. And it did the whole van. I think it was like 30 bucks. I should have taken weight into account in this thing, but I didn't. The bed's full size, up on a platform. It's five inch memory foam. Underneath, I'm gonna pull it off. I just got like storage containers, clothes and stuff, and stuff. I insulated the, the floor. I didn't do this lightweight at all. There's like three quarter inch um, OSB and three quarter inch insulation. Up top, there is an inch and a half of insulation under here. Necessary item if you're out in the sticks. And this was a Runergy Adventure before. I just upgraded to the Rover. <clears throat> so it's not PDM, PWM, it's MPPT. It seems to be a game changer. This thing's not backlit. I don't know why. <laughs> like, it would have cost them like two bucks to do that. <clears throat> More of my stereo. This I also plan to do a lock on. None of this was here before. I framed this all out, built it up. I got a little light up here. Shit. Basically, I got like electronics, I got camera gear, my little adventure bag, uh, video games, PlayStation 4, Chromebook, stuff like that. And back here, I was gonna build cabinets on both sides, but I like this kind of a garage area. The cassette toilet, so you don't have to use any nasty public bathrooms. I broke down a butt. Mr. Buddy Heater the other day. I didn't think I'd need that. And I could probably do one of those Chinese diesel heaters, but I think I'll just keep that because I can use it in my shop and everything. Luggage, I usually don't have a suitcase, but I figured I'd be on my trip, I was I brought nice clothes to go to the casino and go out, skateboard. It's 
right here, water supplies, more gas for the generator, buckets to do your, uh, <laughs> you can do laundry in there or whatever. But as far as water, if you want to fill up, I got one of these flexible hose thingies. I've used it like a couple times, it hasn't blown up yet. Little adapter with a water bandit. So you can get water pretty much wherever you want. Filter. Get all the nasty stuff out of there. And if you're smart, you get one of these. It's so cock key. You can open all sorts of stuff. And do service panels. Like, uh, basically like, um, service, yeah, service panels, <laughs> elevators, shafts, I, I don't know. I guess you can do it all with that. Let me, um, let me hop back here and I'll kind of show you the rest of the electrical system. I think we're, there's probably a ton of shit I forgot, but one sec. All right, here's under the bed. Electrical, we have 15 amp battery charger, inverter, 750 watts. Secondary cheap charge controller, battery-wise, got fused coming in for the panels, 100 amp hour AGM, 275 amp hour AGM batteries, got up the fuse block, clothes under there, it's kind of like catch-all like tools and propane, <laughs> talk's not a service dog, I don't know where I got that from, I don't pass her off as one. But, yeah, electrical stuff back here. An extra charge controller. Lawn chair. This has a secondary heat and AC. The AC's broken this thing again. I gotta fix it. And then, I plan to upgrade this. Just a tool set. Basic household mechanic tools. It's better than nothing. But what the hell else do I have down here? I don't, there's so much stuff in here. And then... Under the bed, this is where I put the other solar panels, have a solar shower. Broke down that box for the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it, but I think I will. So yeah, that's that. Alright, this concludes our tour of the Colonel Parker. Maybe I'll update as this thing's like 90% finished, but if I do anything else to it, which I probably most definitely will, I got a whole list of things I need to get done those torrential downpours in North Carolina. I still had a tiny leak up at the roof. The whole thing was leaking when I got it. I pretty much gone through this thing from the ground up. But yeah, I'll keep that posted if anyone's interested. Other than that, I don't know. But yeah, like money-wise, so I think I bought this thing for $2,100. So I should have probably paid $500 for it. And I stopped, I stopped keeping track of how much I spent on it for $5,000. So I know people are gonna ask. But I have somewhere between, I would say, twelve and 15000 into it. All the labor was me, except for uh, I did rebuild the valve body and the transmission, and it's still a problem, so I brought it to some guy, and that was like $1,200, and he rebuilt it, and it still did the same thing, and we ended up putting another valve body in it, so God knows what was wrong with it. But that's the only other person that's touched it aside from me, so <clears throat> labor-wise, I think I bought this thing in like July 2019, worked on it pretty much from August till now, but like hardcore work was about like three months and then it went around. And you know, I slept, I slept in my shop while I built it, slept in this freaking gaming chair. I wake up, get my bearings, start working at like three in the afternoon and work till I don't know, two, three in the morning some days. Some days were more productive than others. But that's it. Any questions, feel free to ask. Don't ask me anything stupid. People ask me all sorts of stupid shit. I'll entertain some of those questions, not all of them. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to. Thumbs up if you want to. Thumbs down if you want to. Get out. Live your dream. Just be prepared for it. It's different. Love you. Bye.